Now, Insights isn't just available in Outlook, but it is also available in Microsoft Teams. So to access your Insights in Teams, we're gonna head over to our left rail and go to those three dots. And we're going to look at our app. So as you can see, we can see Insights, but if you couldn't find it, you could just type in Insights in the Find an App and you could find it. So we're just going to click on Insights there and it's gonna just take a second to set it up. And I'm going to right click and just pin it so we have easy access to it. So now it says Insights for you. So this is where you'll see timely suggestions for making the most of your day. So what is really great about this is it, this is our homepage. So as you can see, it says that our focus time ends at 2.15 p.m., the focus time we've set up before. But it's also really nice because it gives you a little insight. It asks, you know, how you're feeling. It kind of gives you time to reflect a little bit about your day. So, you know, we're feeling pretty good. We'll do that. And it can, you can take a look at your reflection history, which is kind of interesting. You can see how your moods are reflected, which can be some kind of nice self-care. You can send praise to your colleagues. So when you click on this send praise feature, it actually, you can send a badge to a coworker and then you can also build a habit of recognizing your colleagues. So this has me, it looks like Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, I can have praise reminders, but let's say I just wanna do Tuesdays and Thursdays at 12 p.m., you know, I'm gonna set a praise reminder. So now it's gonna remind me like, oh, hey, you know, send praise to a coworker. So you can actually send praise right in here. So I'm gonna send, we'll send Ellen Wilson some praise. And I can either do it in a one-on-one -on -one chat or I can put it in a team. So we're gonna do it on the, where is our website redesign? So we're gonna let, we're just gonna say, shout out to Ellen for being a team player. So we're gonna throw that in, we'll click preview, and then we're gonna click send. And now I can actually just send praise directly inside of this insights tab, which is really helpful. Another really lovely feature that the insights in Teams offers is that it gives you the opportunity to take a break. So if I click start, I just sync my breath with the video, and it actually kind of just allows you to take some deep breaths and can really help kind of just be a nice little break within your day, which is really, really helpful. Now, the next thing we're gonna pop over to is we're gonna hop up to the Stay Connected tab. Now, this is great. This is how you can stay connected with your collaborators. So it looks like I'm all caught up and I don't have any kind of, you know, things. But what's interesting and something that is very important to note is that my insights is going to look different from yours because since insights is an artificial intelligence that pulls from your data, obviously my data is different from yours. So everybody's will look a little bit different. What's nice is hypothetically, if I had gotten an email and Ellen said, hey, could you take a look at this PowerPoint? That will appear as a task actually below, stating like, hey, this might be a task you wanna follow up on. It also will ask you, do you wanna follow up? So it kind of will weirdly scan your emails and let you know if there's any tasks, any things you need to follow up on. And even it will notify you when, you know, if you haven't met one-on-one -on -one with somebody in a while, it will ask, you know, you haven't met one-on-one -on -one with Ellen in a while. Do you wanna meet? And it will actually offer some times that fit in both of your schedules when you can set that meeting. So it's super, super helpful and kind of really can take some stress. And it's a super time saver than having to like try to find a time that works for both of you when Insights can just do it for you. The last tab inside of our Teams is we're gonna go to this Protect Time. And this is actually how you can um, add more focus time into your schedule. So as you can see, I've already booked out a bunch of focus time, but if I go to show all available times, I can look throughout the week when I have more time to focus. So maybe on Thursday, I wanna add this two hour slot there. So you can just click book and now it will automatically just float into your calendar and now you have this focus time already set up. It's really great, this allows you, I use this feature a lot when I'm working in the day and you know, maybe it's around noon and I'm like, you know what, I don't need meetings in the afternoon. What's cool is Insights searches through your calendar and finds those empty blocks and then offers like, oh, do you wanna book this time today? And you know what, you know what, you're like, yeah, I'll click that and let's book some focus time in. The other cool thing that you can do in Protect Time is you actually can have a little wrap up reminder. Now they call this the virtual commute. For those of us who are working at home, this can be a really great feature because it kind of just gives you a little reminder of, hey, it's about the end of the day. Is there anything you want to wrap up on and disconnect so you know we don't find ourselves overworking? So for this, let's set this up. We'll have Ethan get a reminder every day at 
he'll get a little reminder to wrap up and now he gets his virtual commute. Now, though it is not time for a virtual commute, I am gonna show you what it looks like because it is a great little feature. So if we click start now, so now, you know, it says what a day finishing up work feels good and it kind of like clicks you through your tasks. So it asks like, you know, did you do this? And you know, you can click done if you did that today. Maybe you want them to remind you tomorrow, remind next week. So if I click remind tomorrow, you know, now you have a reminder that'll be sent of like, hey, remember we we're supposed to work on this. And then it also gives you an option to add a task if there's anything you need a reminder for tomorrow. So maybe I want to um, set up time with Carlos. I can add that as a task. And now that's added and you can add as many tasks as you want. So it kind of lets you reflect on your day a bit. And then it kind of gives you like a little snapshot of your day. It tells you what the first, uh, your first event. So, you know, out of office tomorrow where you'll be. And then you can again, reflect on how you're feeling. If you're feeling good, you know, glad that you're having a great day. And then next it allows you to take another deep breath to reset and just kind of take your mind off the work day and let you settle in to your after hours. And then when you're done with that, it just says enjoy the rest of your day and that's your virtual commute. So it's kind of a neat little feature. And those are the different features that are offered to you in Microsoft Insights inside of Teams.